All right, we are live again. So, hey guys, welcome to the video. We're gonna go, we are filming during office hours. So I might not have much time depending on who comes in. So I got a little bit of time, but today the plan is to make some lease renewals. Um, every month in property management, we have certain things scheduled. So on the first, second, and third, that is your rent collection days. And on the fourth, that is uh, when you send out late notices. On the third, on our calendar, it says we send out lease renewals and um, all of that good stuff. So that's what we're gonna work on today. We also have to get this estimate out. Uh, we have a make ready and I'm trying to get that wrapped up. So usually with estimates, I like to go over and just really check each line item. Um, probably not much I can show on here. I think I can show that. There's a lot of things I can't show, so I have to be kind of careful. But basically, when you're doing these make readies, you want to have your vendor break out everything, and that's called a line item. So um, you definitely want to do that. Get that sent out today. We have our two different boxes. We got our receivables. So things that I'm waiting for are usually leaving receivables and things that are already in the system at Folio that goes in the entered box. So as soon as that estimate gets approved, then we will put that in the system and that will be through pay bills. And then we will um, leave it in the queue. So lease renewals, here's some things you wanna do with that. Um, on that Folio, you will go to the left, you're gonna click leasing, then you're gonna hit leases, then you're on the, um, oh, actually, that's the wrong one. You click leasing and then hit renewals. Thank God no one watches my live stream so I can edit these things later. Um, okay, so then once you do that, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the different properties that are eligible for renewal. It will say on the right status on the bar and then below it will say eligible prepare renewal offer. It will show properties that are um, eligible for renewal, but they may be a month like or two out. So the only properties that we're going to do are the ones in the current month we're in. So if we're in February, you do all the February renewals. If it's in uh, January, you do all the January renewals and all of that. So just a quick note, if I do cancel this live stream, um, that's just because... Uh, somebody came in and they probably need help or something. So not going to stay live for that. But in the quiet hours that we have, we're going to squeeze in some content and see how we can help you guys learn the lease renewals. So I see we have one, two, three, four renewals for the month of January. And it says expiration January 31st, 23. So we get these out today. And then they have from January 3rd to the 31st to say, hey, I would like to renew with you or I'm going to take my business elsewhere. So usually in this month, you'll also get tenants that'll let you know, like this property 4242, they um, let us know back in November that they're not going to be renewing. So since they're not going to be renewing, you can skip theirs and move on to the next one. This one is an auto plaza. His current rent is 1200. So we're gonna go ahead and click prepare renewal offer. This is a commercial property. So we're gonna have to break out the nets, which is your triple nets is the monthly, um, is your property tax, uh, pass through insurance, pass through, and then CAM, which stands for common area maintenance. So if his rent's 1200, what I like to do is I duplicate the tab and then I go to that property and you can usually just look up the tenant's name. So once you click his name, it'll pull up his um, account file and then under monthly charges, you're going to click that. You're going to scroll down and then under monthly charges, it'll say 1200 rent income. The next charge for 1200 would be on February 1st. Down here, it gives lease information, lease options, lease documents. And the one I'm looking for 
is the most recent lease we have. So this one says the lease dates were from February 1st, 2022 to January 31st, 2023. That's when it expires. So by the end of this month, this lease will expire if we don't send them a renewal. And then over here, basically you're just looking, you click on the lease document, you scroll down the lease agreement, and then you're checking to see how much they're charging. So over here in section three of 3.1 rent, leasee agrees to pay lease or the monthly sum due first of each month as follows, rent income 1200. So unfortunately, this lease doesn't have the nets broken out, and that's kind of a bummer because then that means we have to actually make them. Um, so with that one, it's twelve hundred. You can also scroll down more and kind of see what they were, what was in that lease, just to kind of refresh your mind. And I always recommend make sure you're reading these leases and you're not just sending um, a lease out and you don't know the lease yourself. That's um, something important. You don't, you may not know everything, but if you are reading through it, um, gradually you'll learn it. But there is a lot. So we're gonna go back to this one and we're gonna do renewal package. It's um, for at Folio, Blue Moon leases are for residential and at Folio leases are for commercial. So make sure you know that. Start date, February 1st. Deadline to respond is January 31st. And the thing with these commercial leases, ooh, this hair's messed up, and um, the residential is you can put in the lease agreement, but then you also have to put in the, um, what's it called? The month to month fee. And that basically says, hey, if you're not gonna renew, um, then your lease will go to month to month. Oh, wow, that's a lot of clicks. Okay. So over here, you're going to scroll down, include letter, renewal notice letter, yes. Include options, renewal lease addenda, month to month, start date, February 1st, deadline to respond, January 31st. Now in the lease, if you don't know, because it'll say include lease, and it'll say is it a company lease, is it an individual lease, that's why you go to back to the old lease and see what they put. So you scroll to the top. So it says um, the leaseor and the leasee. So it's in his name. There's no, it doesn't say um, Auto Plaza and the tenant's name. It just says the company name, the management company's name. Then it says the tenant's name below it. So that means it's put in a personal name, which is what you want. You don't want to put it in their uh, company. You want to put it in a individual uh, in the event that you have to take it to court and file a suit of uh, for unpaid rent or you know whatever you're trying to do so new commercial individual lease yes is there any addendums do you need to put an addendum sometimes you may addendum for altering multiple sections or addendum for rent concession concession which basically means hey first month next month we're going to give it for 500 or you know there's different addendums you may you may want that you would negotiate with your tenant. So there's no addendums with this one. What is an NSF fee? That is your fee. If their money they send you is a bad payment, um, you can charge a fee on that. And you definitely want to make sure you have that in there because um, if you don't, you will get uh, a lot of your money eaten up because the bank actually charges you a fee. And I believe they charge us $35, which is kind of stupid. Uh, description of business use again that's why you go back to the old lease and under here it says in section four permitted use lease may use a permitted premises for auto detail shop that's cool oh facebook is saying stuff i don't know if you guys have this issue but i got kicked out of facebook um i'm i got banned from marketplace so i it's been a it's been a mess with that so then over here you just put in what is their business use um renewal term you have different options for that you can do a three month six months nine months 12 month um 15 18 21 or 24 so it just depends on you 
we're going to do a 12. End date, January 31st, 2024. That should be fine. Change by how much are you going up? Sometimes you may just go up on the rent. You may just go like 10% on the rent um, or 3%, 5%. It just depends. The market is always moving and you never really know. So that's why I want to check the surrounding areas. And um, Zillow is really nice about that. So if it's a residential property, you go on Zillow, you click rentals, and you look in the surrounding area. If you have a property that's A, you know, it's right in the center, then you look in the other areas and um, see what their rent's going for that. Um, in this area where we are, the rent is pushing like $2,000 a month for like a 3-2, which is crazy. So you put in the, how much you're going to go up. So this is just an example one. We'll just uh, put in 100 bucks and change that later when we actually send it. New commercial. Now, once you've made the renewal part, now you scroll down and you go to the M2M part, which is add month to month option. So same thing, new commercial individual. Actually, since it's an addendum, you don't need the lease. You can just do addendum, M2M holdover option commercial. And with commercial, they go up 50% if they don't sign. If it's residential, it's 25%. So that means it would be going up $600 if they don't sign a 12 month lease. Then down here, um, it's gonna say monthly charges. So if you're not breaking out the nets, then it'll just say 1300, but you wanna break out the nets, which we may do that on here. It's kind of tricky, still new to that. Um, so down below that, you have additional settings renewed by default. You can have that checked. Default option, 12 month term for 1300, or do you want to have the default option be the M2M? You want the default option to be the 1300, but if they don't sign it, it will sign the um, other one. So, so now you hit prepare renewal offer or renewal letter. It will say the following will be blank. Does, do you need a co-signer? If there wasn't a co-signer on the old lease, you then I would assume you wouldn't need one on the new one. But you may verify with the tenant. So you click through some links. And this is the part that's important. Sometimes our internet is really slow over here. That's probably because this live stream is eating all the all the internet up. Um it's nice with like Windows because you can go through CMD and do the IP config dash flush DNS and that somehow like kind of like refreshes it on Apple. I don't know how to do that. So if y'all do comment down below. Okay, so now it's gonna actually show you, it's gonna show the real lease built out and it's gonna basically look like a PDF document. So it's gonna say number one, 1 1.1 presentation, commercial lease agreement. And then at the top, you can select the different options. So there's a 12 month from 12, one to January 31st, 24. And then the option two is addendum and to holdover option commercial February 1st to it starts February 1st for 1800. So you want to leave the 1300 on. Then if everything's good, then you'll start clicking through. You go to um, the second page lease and term, then rent and security taxes, insurance, use of premises, and you start kind of just working your way down till you get to the end of the lease because you really want to verify that everything's right. If you send a lease and they sign it and you sign it and it's wrong, well, um, there's not much you can really do after that. Although you can actually delete, even if they sign both leases and both countersign, you still can go back and actually delete that lease and restart everything. It's just really um, difficult. It's not easy to do. And you definitely don't want to do that because it doesn't um, look good. So then on section 2.2, it says lease premises. It gives those square feet and then term. And then um, it also defines holdover. If a lease holds over and continues in possession of the lease premises after expiration of the term, this lease or any extension of that term, lease will be deemed to be occupying the premises based on a M2M tenancy. So... 
um, definitely go the sewer. Really the most important thing with these is to make sure that the dates are right, that the head and um, in this live stream, but we will be posting more and going through more in depth on how to do this exactly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment, like, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.